Hi Anna and everybody out there. My name is Tanya Wilkinson. I'm 46 from uh, Bognor Regis, West Sussex. Um, I've been so grateful for people, for the everyday people who are uploading their clips and I felt extremely helpless during this time and I'm, I just wanted to say my story because I'm quite an introverted girl anyway and I, I live at home and I'm married and I'm very fortunate that my husband is also awake to the, um, to the COVID pandemic. <laughs> I believe it's all been planned. Um, but anyway, I, I have deep, deep concerns and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, while I say I'm an introvert, I also feel so trapped. And when I go out, I can't go out. I just find it so heartbreaking. I'm unlike the other lady in that clip that said that she's unable to she I refuse to wear a mask when I go to the shops because I believe it goes against my the nature of my health and my inner being but equally if I don't wear one I feel extremely anxious and anxiety because of the people that are stuck in fear over watching me without one so it's it's almost like the government have created They've created even more of that horrible, horrible, fearful divide, turning us against one another. And that feels absolutely unbearable for me. I feel it's so tragic as well when we are putting masks on children and we're taking away their natural immunity to defend. I mean, it's so important that we, we spread germs. That's the nature of our being. We need germs and I'm the more this goes on the more terrified I am at the 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 outcome next flu season of course they'll label it COVID because COVID seems to just be every it seems to have eliminated all other illnesses and that is so tragic because the death numbers are going to be even greater when we do go out finally and remove those masks and start to mingle with other germs. It's just awful what's going on and I feel powerless. That is the one thing that I think that we are all suffering from is what can we do? Now I know that we're not powerless. I know that we are doing those small steps and Anna, you're leading the way with this and I just wish that there was a, a mainstream platform that you had because it's heartbreaking to see the amount of people that have been fearful over this. And for someone like me, I can't even go out to do those simple things that I used to do, which was go to a cafe and buy a cake and have a cup of coffee and just have a different, different scenery. I'm, I, I have nature. I go for walks along the beach, so I'm very blessed. And I do count my blessings, but I feel the pain of everyone and the fear. And I don't know what to do. And I know that many people don't know what to do. I'm anti-social media, so I've come off all of social media. But I just want everybody to know out there that you're not alone. And I'm so grateful that I'm not alone. And um, I hope this channel grows. I just wanted to share my support and concern. And God bless you all who are fighting this very, very difficult battle. God bless. Bye.